What is going on everybody? It is Milver here with Challenge Master episode 22. Picking it up right after uh, the Fortnite and got a little bit of looting to do, you know, check out what the zombies have provided for me. And it, but in today's episode we've got to do a bit of a rescue mission for the uh, mini bike uh, to see where I can go and uh Oh, didn't actually have a pair of pants on. Anyways, as I was saying, if, you're, if you saw and seen the past few episodes, I did uh, die in, in a town over in the um, in the winter biome, and well, my mini bike and some stuff over there is uh, is sitting, but. In today's episode, and the mission is going to be to raid two retail stores, and the potential mission reward is going to be 25 flaming arrows, and then the penalty uh, will be no weapon repairs next episode if I don't do that. Ooh, a treasure map. Zombies could have a decent loot. And let's see. Uh, I want that football helmet. With all that being said, I'm going to do some... continue to leave the zombies here, and I'm going to get the mini bike, the new mini bike ready, and I will be with you guys shortly. And I've done uh, the looting for Fortnite, I got like some facial piercings and some canned goods uh, for... and some nerdy glasses and a... Uh, had just some various stuff from the Horde Night. Like, the best thing uh, that is the football helmet. If uh, push comes to shove, the and then I could just uh, grab the old uh, grab the old uh, don't put that stuff in there, but uh, I could just uh. As long as I find myself a flashlight, I can go grab a... Then I can make myself another mining helmet and then hopefully not, uh, put in... And hopefully not, uh, die again, so... Just want to throw all this stuff into the chest here just to get it all sorted. I've got food... Got food, ammo, and... And medical supplies just to be absolutely certain here. Bring the hunting knife with just to, in case I want to start making, uh, we'll just take and you know, get some more meat. But just gonna hop on this mini bike here. I'm not worried about a an old uh, having the uh, the basket. I could just uh, pack this mini bike up into the into the other one once I get over, but I'm just gonna make the drive over and I will uh, I'll let you know once I've gotten to town. And we're coming up on town here. I'm gonna stop to search this duffel bag here for. and got some hunting rifle parts and a pistol receiver, but also wanted to search uh, these tree stumps here to see. I searched them before, but also they can potentially have flashlights on them. I remember finding, like, flashlights before on older worlds. Uh, check this other one real quick. Actually, wait, no, um, might keep that for, for warmth, uh, in case I get really cold. This shotgun stock and long barrel. Yeah, these things can provide some good loot. Where's my... Mini bike. Oh. Hi, Jack. How are you doing, buddy? How's your day? Good here. Oh. Come on, buddy. Jack's a beefy boy. Been eating his wheeze for breakfast. Oh. Jack, take it easy there, buddy. Come on, we can work this out. Come on. There you go. 
Uh, we'll just get away from this guy real quick. Um, there you are, mini bike. Yeah, we're just come up on town here in a second. We'll just actually cut over. I can see the mini bike uh, icon on the screen, and yeah, I know I died over by the uh, working stuff tools and crack a book, and I'm hoping that that dog is not over there. Check this real quick. Another 44 magnum frame. It's like if only I could find the 44 magnum parts. Nothing in there. Uh, deer, no lumberjack. Here, here, here's that old uh, working stuffs. I can't, ref I can't recover the bag because uh, it's on delete all, like uh, this game is. And uh, just a short iron pipe out of there. This is where I died last time, but. There is a crack book. Hello, old friend. Sorry that banjee on the gas front. We'll actually just pick up the, uh... We'll actually just, uh, uh, start swapping parts over. Give you a new engine. And... Refill that. New battery. Give you the. Basically upgrade you to the good to the good stuff, and then we'll just put the old stuff in. We'll put the old parts in. We'll just combine those once we get back to base. But I figured let's just take a couple days to actually explore this and not have uh, hopefully not have my dogs ringing on my parade again and pick you up. We'll just toss you in here. Wanted to get a little bit of gas out of that. I didn't know if I could recover gas out of it for, uh, for, you know, to use in the mini bike. So there's submachine gun, yeah, submachine gun parts, couple engines, some extra ammo. That I left, so not all is lost. Um, I do want to take a little drive around. Like I was just using the working stuff as a temporary little storage area because of the dogs, I think. Um, yeah, just throw a couple parts in here. Just, nope, not the. Throw that in and. Accidentally, accidentally swapped the engine out for a new one. Silly me. Still, you know, still got to remember that stuff. Oh, there goes the horn, but I'm just gonna get organized real quick, and I'm going to throw in some. Uh, Gonna take a drive around town, and I will be back with you guys in a, a little bit just to uh, show what I found. So I've done a uh, full run around of the town, and it's actually a pretty good sized town. I over here is a uh, popping pills, and then uh, found a shotgun messiah, and then got like one of those shanty towns, and then you got a couple cemeteries in the in the world so uh, pretty now uh, pretty decent loot and you got like a car lot a lot of uh a lot of good loot here so we'll spend at least today and tomorrow or hanging out around here so and once I'm dealing with the lumberjack here come here buddy he's <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a quick little location on the, uh, you know, like, just to give you a reference if you want to play this world. Come on. There you go. As I was saying, though, uh, this town is about 
2200, 2300 head north, and then about 800 east. Uh, so, basically uh, northeast of the of the hub city, and if you want to find it, still have a bit of exploration to do around this world, so just want to Where is... just want to chop this uh, body up, and I thought I saw a bear. There we go. Uh, I wanted to chop that body up just so I can make a torch. It is getting freezing out here. Where is that mini bike? There it is. Um, cause I know I got some cloth uh, hanging out in here. There we go. And just get that crafted up so that way I can have a extra little bit of uh that way I can give you guys light. Um there we go. I really felt like I could have the uh, mini bike be my source of light. Just wanna keep searching these. Bullet tips, not bad. Take some brief bullet tips, some honey. Hoping I can find maybe a, a uh, jacket. Yeah, it doesn't help that. Uh, well, it's like I got a green shirt and and uh, pants on, but not really helping out too much. Oh, what would it really help is if I took the if I took the. Uh, yeah, my poncho off. I forgot I had that on. Definitely helps out because that. Yeah, we're starting to stabilize in temperature now, but let's go hit up the Shotgun Messiah and then hit up the. I want to hit up the Cracker Book just to get some extra points into various crafting. I think we have most, if not all, the. Uh, the schematics aside from herbal antibiotics. Let's just go and... Oh yeah, there's a well bunker sitting around here. Might take up a residence in this house for the night just to... help me out with the... Uh... Or you never know, we might even take up residence in the prison. Uh, let's see where that Shaka Messiah is. Should be okay. It's to, it's to the left here. Oh yeah, the I did forget about the airdrop. The airdrop came in, and it's actually just north of the town, right by that crossroads. So maybe on the way back, once I get to the yeah, you know, I'll go hit that up for uh, to see what supplies it's got for me. Ooh, looks like we got the gang uh, hanging out here. Let's actually just uh, do what I was saying a little bit ago. Just have the uh, have the uh, maybe I can do a little bit of you know, path lighting. Gotta take so I'll just uh, if time lapse these uh, zombies uh, being taken out, and I will uh, come back after that. Checking out all these uh, zombies, I can see, I think I can hear one inside the shotgun messiah, but I'm just gonna search these guys up, see, I did get infected, Ooh, perfect, puffer coat, need one of those, and thankfully I think I left some, uh, 
antibiotics behind when I was here last, so that and so thankfully I can uh cure that up and let's see, there's another zombie. But let's just go hit up the shotgun messiah. Um Actually we're good for the back this time. Shake it up with it a little bit. Start. <laughs> Shouldn't take too long now with these uh, steel tools. Pretty dark in here. Um, is that Psycho Steve? How are we doing, buddy? How are you? Wants to say hello to me. Such a nice uh, like the zombie, Psycho Steve is. Come here. Take your nap. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Um, grab the torch again. Gonna be dark for a second. And there we are. Pretty good on the old uh, loot department, but let's search out the bathroom. A couple of turds, I'll take those for the farm. And nothing in the sink aside from some, uh, wrench, you know, some, uh, resources, just general stuff. A decent wrench. Not much in the medicine cabinet. Uh, we could turn that gas barrel I picked up earlier into a. This is some extra gas from the mini bike. I already searched you. And you got some murky water. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to... I will actually break into these boxes real quick along with the safe, and I will be with you guys in just a second. And we have broken into the safe, and we're gonna... I'll raid this real quick. Got a spike club schematic. And... Uh, Let's see what's in the, uh, the cabinet here. Brass trophy and some paper. Got some air goggles for iron. Let's see what this is in this box. Nothing there. And got some like, shot, uh, shotgun barrel and hunting rifle barrel and SMG parts. Oil and glue and trash can. Alright, check that body. Let's see what's in these two crates here. Shotgun, huh, stock and receiver, and AK parts. Gonna leave those in the boxes for now. Two more shotgun stocks and a receiver. And couplings in the old trash can there. And just, let's grab that can down for iron. Got AK-47 receiver. And leave that there for a second. This one, hunter rifle receiver, just leave it there. And a couple dollars in the uh, cash register. See what's in this one. Shotgun parts and hunting rifle parts, very nice. Just uh, taking a look at the old coolers here and in the old file cabinet. Um uh, the food and beer to the drink in there, gonna eat this and drink the beer. And just... Just check this file cabinet real quick. Let's see what's in this one here. And uh, nothing. I'd say I found some good stuff in the Shock of Messiah. And... Just bust out of this store really quick. It shouldn't take too long. And we'll just, uh, I'm just gonna hop on the mini bike here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over to this house and dump off some stuff. And I will meet you shortly at the Cracker Book. Just pulling up on Cracker Book now and just parking up and let's break through the store uh, shall we and see what we got inside right, we're through and look we got Bob up front here 
Now let's see if we can drag them outside real quick. Uh, just get some light going for the bookstore. And... There we go, that should be a good position. And let's see how Bob's doing in here. Oh, he's still stuck uh, behind the counter. I go kill Bob. Oh, he's dragging me. Not exactly the brightest one in the world. Oh, come on, Bob. <laughs> go down, please. Come on. There you go. Oh, not down just yet. Come on. There you go, you're finally dead. First I start off with the filing cabinet. And found some iron glove schematic. Very nice. Didn't know that one. Search these cabinets real quick and... Start searching these, see what we got. Nothing in there. Little leg armor schematic, and... Nothing in there. Got the pistol book, and... There's not too much in these sometimes, but they always were checking for the uh, books. It helps out with uh, getting perk points. You know, now that I've found the uh, ooh, crossbow schematic, I found the spike club schematic. I'm probably going to find another hmm, schematic of it pretty quickly, and just as the game is a way of tying me, it usually does that. Got the Flaming Arrows schematic, very nice, didn't know that one. Just keep raiding the latter half of this here. Not much in those couple shelves. Yeah, not much in there either. I used to have some paper because then start making shotgun shells. There we go, got some more paper. Diver's book. More paper. Yeah, just more and more paper. And then got uh, even more in the last couple bookshelves. No, nothing. Search the old cash register real quick. A couple dollars in there. See if it's anything in the file cabinet. Not really. And search that old trash there. Just some iron in there. And search, so just break through the door real quick, place the torch up, and... Alrighty. These cardboard boxes can have some good loot. Oh, with... Uh, sometimes, whether it be fertilizer, or whether it be, you know, a random schematic, it can... You know, just a lead trophy in there. And, let's see what's in here. And wouldn't you know, another spike clip schematic. Almost as if the game heard me. It's just wonderful, I tell you. When the game just kind of knows. Just gonna read these all real quick. And then we'll break into the uh, back office. So, see what's in the old safe. The... I just find it funny sometimes when it's just kind of like... Like, oh, I finally found this schematic that I want, and... And it's like, oh, yeah, here's a cue. Here's a couple more just to make sure you know about it. It really, it's just, sometimes it's a slap in the face, but at the same time, it's nice because in this version, at least you get the uh, weapon smithing points, and which means you get a couple levels in, uh, in quality increase, and it's overall win win if you find you know, more than one. Not the end of the world. It's just one of those little details. And, you know, looking at, you know, gunsmithing, just at level 25, I can unlock shotgun shell crafting, and then level 30, it's 7.62s, and then level 40 is your 44 magnums. And, a uh, skirt and a couple of uh, trophy. Just want to break into this here. Shouldn't take too long, it's... The steel pickaxe makes light work of it, and... and we're almost done here, so... One, one more swing here. See what's inside. Shotgun parts, a hunting rifle stock, and... 
pistol receiver, very nice stuff. And now what I'm going to uh, do is uh, I'm actually going to go and hit up the airdrop uh, that went to the wasteland, and I will be uh, back with you once I've done that. And I'm back at the temporary little base uh, here. I did a quick little airdrop uh, grab and go. Uh, I wanted just to do that. I didn't want to risk uh, getting hit by a dog, but let's see what we got out of the airdrop. I actually got an, a flashlight, an AK-47 barrel, and SMG parts, and and uh, another SMG schematic, so nice little bit there. Means I can make a uh, mining helmet once I get back home. And so, I want to say that that's been a pretty good episode. Uh, before I forget get let's get my reward <laughs> so keep in mind I'm not using the cheat menu uh, whatsoever for for anything else I'm only using this for uh, just getting mission workers um, and the reward was flaming arrows so just grab the just look up flaming arrows and then I'm just going to give myself my 25 here. So 25, and we'll just grab that stack of arrows and just loop, throw those in. That is my reward redeemed. Like I said, I'd say pretty successful episode, and I'm very happy with the progress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of condense some loot down and then... Uh, and I'm just gonna hide in here overnight and and just wait till morning comes. So I thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far, and I hope you enjoy some of my other content and and uh, hope you even subscribe. Uh, take care, everybody.